I thought you were gonna go to Chinatown and watch them smoke ducks. Yes, but first I wanted to bring by some of my homemade... Fudge blasters! <laughs> Fudge blasters? I'm starving! Give me two. <laughs> oh! These are delicious! Oh, well, you should try my nut busters. <laughs> Oh, hey, Jack, Mom's going down to Chinatown. What's that restaurant you like down there? Mr. Ping's. No attitude when you ask for a fork. Yeah. <laughs> Today's Thursday. The special is the Great Wall of Beef. Oh, my Lord. Would you write down the address? Sure. Or Jack could take you. Well, I, I would, except I've got that 2 o'clock with accounting. I can move it till 3. There, it's easy. I just did it. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh, do you think we can get a table? Please, Mr. Ping loves me. I'm practically part of the family. Uh. <laughs> part of the family. Part of the family. <laughs> oh, look, Dennis. Your sister made popcorn. <laughs> oh, thank heavens they let you sit down. <laughs> With the suitcase. Oh, well, Grandma called. I have to go home. It seems that a possum got trapped under the pool tarp. You can't go now. Oh, but I have to. If Grandma gets wet, her skin cracks. You don't understand. Things are going really well with Jack. What do you mean? Mom, how would you like to never have to deal with possums and pool tarps ever again? Oh, but if I leave the tarp off, the pine cones are... No, no, I'm talking about Jack. You and Jack. He likes you. I can tell. And he's not seeing anyone right now, and you're not seeing anyone. It's perfect. Honey, you are sweet, but... But what? I... Don't you think he's handsome? Like a sea captain? Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course I do. But I'm just a middle-aged divorcee no. from Albany. I mean, I could never land a man like Jack. I mean, I, I wouldn't know where to begin. I do. I can help you. Well, Fanny, how's the Belle of Albany? <laughs> oh, well, I... I... I, I... I'm on board. <laughs> Jack Gallo's office, how may I assist you? <laughs> oh, I see. I, I see. Um... Uh, of course, yes, I, I'll, uh, thank you so much for calling. Mom, what, what's wrong? That's your car sick face. <laughs> that was Jill, the exercise girl. What? Yes, she says she's been thinking and she wants to talk to Jack and it sounds like she misses him. Well, that's that. What do you mean? Well, I can't compete with an exercise girl. Yes, you can, your Fantasia Olivia Finch. <laughs> Well, Dennis, I don't want to step on another woman's toes. Well, you won't have to. Jack never gets the message. Oh, but that's impossible. All we have to do is hand it to him. Or... Oopsie! <laughs> Dennis, you stop playing games. Now, when Jack walks through that door, I'm going to tell him that Jill called. No, you can't. Why? Because I work too hard to break them up. I may have paid the bagel girl to go tell Jill she was pregnant with Jack's baby. <laughs> oh, my Lord, Dennis. You're going straight to hell. Ready? Beat it. Go on. You've never lied before. Becoming vice president of Blush has changed you. <laughs> Mom, we're so close on this one. We can all be so happy together. Well, like in your Christmas fantasy. How do you know about that? I saw the sketches in your room. You looked in my creativity box? <laughs> you have got to tell Jack what you did. I can't. You don't understand. He will fire me. Well, jobs may come and go, but integrity lasts forever, like I American-made trucks, I know. That's right. And if you don't tell Jack the truth, I can never look at you again the same. My tummy hurts. Yeah, I'll bet it does.